Hi Virgo and welcome to your monthly October reading. My name is Renee. Thank you so much for joining me again. Um, as you already know, um, I'm using a new deck this month. Um, it's called the Deviant Moon Tarot and it's um, a little bit spooky, a little bit dark, um, but I thought it would be nice to use something different. Obviously we're in um, October now, so it's Halloween season. Um, and I just thought I'd mix it up a bit so you guys can see some different artwork and I can have some fun with some new cards. So, um, look, I'm just going to dive straight in without further ado. Let's get started on your reading, Virgo. So, listen, at the center of your reading, you've got the Lover's card here. Okay, so the Lover's card is a card of Gemini, but it's also the card of choice. So whenever the lover's card appears, it indicates that you will need to make a choice about someone this month. It doesn't have to be a lover, literally, uh, or a romantic relationship per se. It, it can indicate uh, just a friend. Um, it, it can indicate a family member, someone you work with, a uh, connection that you have. It could be a number of things, okay? But it's definitely involving having to make a decision about something one way or the other. All right. And that's at the center of your reading. Clarifying it, you've got the Knight of Cups. Now, this is interesting because it is also about a declaration. Uh, so the Knight of Cups is, um, if you are single, it's about someone who's coming towards you, who's offering you a cup of love. You know, it's a declaration of love. So if you are single... Um, this lover's card in particular, paired with the Knight of Cups, does indicate a romantic, um, you know, it's a, romant a romance reading, okay? So this is quite interesting. So already, already just remember that this is a collective reading. This isn't personal. So I am reading for every single gem Virgo out there. And if, you know, certain things don't resonate, then this reading isn't for you. But if it does, you can take what resonates and leave the rest behind. So if you are not in a relationship, as I said, this lover's card just indicates the fact that you need to make a choice uh, about someone for whatever reason. Um, and it's indicated here with a cup of love, um, but it doesn't have to be romantic love. It can also actually indicate, um, you know, someone's making you an offer in regard to something emotional, um, some emotional stability. Um, you know, they're, they're opening their heart to you. They're being a good friend. Um, or you could just have an, a creative offering that someone's offering you a, an opportunity um, from a creative perspective because it will give you um, emotional fulfillment because the water energy and cups is all about emotional fulfillment as well. So take what resonates, as I said, and leave what doesn't. Um, now, crowning you, you've got the strength card and it's clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, which is quite spectacular. You know, these two cards are both major arcana. So crowning you or your intention or what's in your third eye this month is the strength card. I feel very much, Virgo, that you are going to have to rise above a situation. You are going to have to be the bigger person and you're going to have to use your inner strength. Okay, You're going to have to dig deep in order to get through something. Um, but at the end of the day, the wheel's turning in your favor because you've got the wheel of fortune here. Okay, So no matter what decisions you have to make around this situation or this person or some sort of quandary that you might find yourself in i feel that um you know you will you will be successful because there is this wheel of fortune it's almost it's karmic energy as well and it's fate it's destiny some sort of um you know uh, the good fortune coming your way and it's crowning you at the moment and i feel that you you you're much deserving of this because you there's an energy here of you you know you've really had it a little bit tough and you kind of just a bit over it um, but look, as I said, there's two major arcana here in your crowning position. So that's very, it, it's very strong. And the fact that you will, um, overcome any sort of adversity or any sort of, um, you know, quandary that you might be in, in regarding making a decision about this relationship, um, because the wheel is turning in your favor, which is super positive. In your foundation, you've got the King of Wands and it's clarified by the Eight of Swords. So... The King of Wands in your foundation uh, indicates a Sagittarian, or Aries or a Leo. Okay, so this is a person in your foundation who makes you feel secure, makes you feel, um, you know, 
that they've got your back, okay? And this is what's keeping your two feet on the ground, okay? This is pretty much the only thing that's keeping your two feet on the ground right now. And the fact that you have that King of Wands energy in your foundation. This person also could be highly creative. They don't have to be a fire sign, but they could also just be a master at, at, at creativity, okay? And they're in your home, your home life or your home sphere. It's clarified by the Eight of Swords. Um, which means that you've probably been overthinking something in regard to this person. Um, and, you know, the Eight of Swords leads to analysis paralysis, which then indicates the fact that, you know, nothing moves, nothing happens in your universe because you're overanalyzing the situation. Don't overanalyze stuff. Just let life happen. You know, things are supposed to happen as they happen. Um, as tiring and as, as, as demanding and disappointing as things can be, um, we just have to keep going. OK, but there is a there is a, uh, you know, a feeling here as well that you've you're grounding yourself. You're, you're holding yourself accountable as well um, from a from a mastery perspective perspective. I can't talk properly today. I, this is the last reading I'm doing. So I, I must be just a little bit. Yeah, my head's very full. Um, your foundation here is is also could be indicating you your energy okay your energy is the king of wands can also indicate the fact that you're a master you've mastered certain things in your life and you've just been over analyzing things over and over and over in, in regard to what that could be and how it relates to what your current circumstance is and when you over analyze something it tends to just stagnate like you know it, it's it's almost like i'm getting this message it's like just don't give a fuck anymore and as soon as you stop caring, things happen, right? If you concentrate and concentrate and try and do this and just get everything perfect, perfect, perfect all the time um, and, and, you know, overwork the detail, nothing happens, okay? There's a, there's a flow that needs to occur, okay? And that flow isn't happening because you're overanalyzing. And that's in your foundation. That's what I meant to say. In your recent past, you've got the star card and it's clarified by the emperor, Okay, so there's a there's something that you've been looking at for, for some time and there's some sort of um, uh, wish fulfillment that is that's occurred. It's like a blessing that's occurred recently um, and it's got to do with could be an Aquarian and there's also an Aries here as well. So if you've got an Aries and Aquarian in your life, sorry, Aquarian and Aries in your life, um, these two could have something to do with it. If you don't have pe sun signs, people that you know in your life, this can just indicate the fact that you've been you've been following your dreams, okay? You are following your path. You are following what you want to do. But just recently, you've sort of been governed by um, someone in a position of power, someone who's kind of, um, they hold the key, they hold the rules. You know, you've got to buy, play by their rules. You can't just go in and, you know, wish upon a star and expect things to just sort of manifest themselves immediately. Um, you know, you walk into an institution or you walk into a building or you walk into somewhere, you're, you're having to deal with the person who's in control, okay? And just recently, I feel that that's been the energy you've had to work with and that's the energy that you're having to deal with. You know, this isn't just all about your hopes and dreams. Um, you know, you'd like it to be, but unfortunately, when you go into other positions of having to negotiate or having to deal with people in positions of power, CEOs, you know, people who are hiring, um, all sorts of situations, um, you have to play by their rules. And whatever their figures are and whatever their rules are, if you don't play by their rules, it doesn't happen. So that's just in your recent past. In your immediate future, um, you've got the Five of Swords and it's clarified by your card. You've appeared in your own reading, Virgo the Hermit. So in your immediate future, there's a there's a lack of mentality here. There's a feeling of um, defeat. It's kind of like, well, you know what? I'm just going to do what I'm going to do anyway. I'm picking up my swords and I'm going to go elsewhere. You know, it's a it's a it's a you know you may have won the battle, but you won't win the war kind of mentality. All right, and the the hermit here is is obviously indicative of you because that's your sign or your sun sign. Um, and I feel that, you know, you're going to be in a position of consultancy, okay? I got that message yesterday from another lady who did a reading for me, um, and she shared that information with me, and I thought when I saw that card for this particular reading today, I think that's where you're headed. You're headed into a position of consultancy, because the Hermit card as well is also, um, you know, they're a very wise, in the 
traditional decks, they are pictured as the wise man with the beard, you know, going with the lantern, the truth seeker, the, the, the seeker of wisdom, the person who withdraws from society and goes within and seeks inner knowledge. Know thyself. You know, that's the, the mantra of the hermit. And once you know yourself, you're in a position then for others to approach you, at, you know, as a consultant. So I feel that in your immediate future here, there's an energy that you will need to um, most likely go out on your own. I feel that there's an, there's an opportunity here for you to, to be the consultant moving forward and not having to, um, in your like in your recent past here, have to obey to other people's rules and regulations like the emperor energy. Because you do have dreams, you know, you dream big, you know, you're not, you don't, you don't sort of think about things by halves. You think about, you know, long term, you are thinking about the future. You do want your, your lifestyle and everything to sort of come together um, as, you know, you deserve it. Why not? Um, okay. So you yourself right now, this is beautiful. This is the, this is the, the card of creation. This is the th three of wands. Okay. So the three of wands is about. This is an opportunity now where you, you're starting to see growth. This could be from a number of perspectives. This could be stocks, bonds, um, your own business, um, you know, achievements at work, um, you know, things with relationships that you see, you've, you've been working on for a very long time and you're starting to see the growth come through now. The number three as well is a number of creation, you know, um, mother, father, child, maiden, mother, crone. This is Mother Earth. This is a card of, um, you know, the wands. So it is about harvesting and, and seeing those ships come in. It's clarified by the Justice card. This is beautiful, okay? We are now in Libra season, and this is the card of Libra. can also indicate our success in legal matters or um, litigation if you're going through a court situation at the moment. can also indicate success in that regard. But I feel very much that this card for you, Virgo, this month is about acknowledging what's growing now, what you what you've planted, those seeds that you've planted, there's justice coming for you now. Okay. Order is going to be restored. There's going to be a sense of balance, a sense of peace and order. Okay. Because things haven't been so ordered. And I feel that, you know, there's a there's a justice here for you. It's kind of like, you know, but I'm worth more, but I need more. This is, you know, this isn't what I studied for or this is I've worked so hard and I don't I'm not seeing you know, I'm not, I'm not going for the right things or I'm not getting the right results that I want. Um, but I feel like you're taking your bat and ball and you're going home and you're not actually dealing with anyone anymore. I feel like you're going to go on your own and you're going to be like some sort of independent business person. Okay, this is very independent um, energy here. Your environment at the moment, surprise, surprise, is the hanged man. This is a card of suspension. This is like giving you a 180. This is like a new, new perspective, okay? Things are at a standstill right now because they're suspended. Okay, so there's no movement. It's clarified by the Knight of Swords. The reason why it's being suspended right now is because you've, you've been arguing or you've, you've been dealing with a person who's quite argumentative or they're just too juvenile. They just, they just don't actually comprehend um, what you're trying to communicate to them and what you're trying to, you know, what you're worth or whatever it is that you're trying to deal with. You're just dealing with a very juvenile um, energy. And look, sword energy is Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. If you have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, this could indicate that actual person. But I feel like things are being suspended at the moment because in your environment, um, you're just dealing with children. You're not dealing with adults. You're dealing with people who don't understand um, where you're coming from, what you're wanting from them. Um, you know, your friends, family, career, whatever it is. Um, they just, they just don't get it. Okay. And that's why things aren't moving. Uh, this is really interesting and very positive. In your hopes and fears, you've got the judgment card. Okay, this is the phoenix rising from the ashes. As above, so below, down here as well. You've got the judgment up here and then you've got the justice card down here. The reason why I say that is because judgment is about a resurrection. It's about the phoenix rising from the ashes. It's about an, second chances. This is an opportunity for you to rewrite wrongs. This is an opportunity for you to do things differently. This is an opportunity for you to, you know, have that aha moment and actually realize that you're just pushing shit uphill. You know, it, it's like if you really want something, sometimes the best thing to do is just do it yourself and then you'll learn, then you'll understand. 
And once you've actually done that for yourself as well, you can probably then go back knocking on certain doors and they'll open because you've experienced other things, but you've had to go out and do it on your own. When you do do that, there's a victory here for you. Okay, this is a six of wands, victory card. You are revered, you are respected, you are acknowledged by your peers, by people in your community. People know that you are, you have got the goods. Okay, so you don't have to feel down on yourself about uh, that you're not good enough or whatever it might be. But there's a sense here of, um, you know, there's resurrection here for you. That's your, in your hopes and fears. You're wanting this so bad you can taste it. Okay, and it's really annoying. But the moment hasn't presented itself yet. Okay, because the resurrection only happens when you have that aha moment. Okay? Angels will send you a sign. They'll point you in the right direction. But look, there's only so much you can put up with until you finally just go, fuck it, I'm going to do it myself. Um, you know, I can tell you a story about what happened to me before I got sort of the jobs that I actually wanted over many, many years. And then, you know, you sort of, you end up dealing with nitwits. And then when you deal with nitwits and you think, I don't want to do this anymore, and you actually just start something on your own, like a consultancy business. This is this consultant just keeps coming up. Um, or being, you know, a business owner, um, being a, you know, a solo entrepreneur operator, um, you learn all sorts of things and you can do things your own way. You can write your own rules, your own contracts, your own terms and conditions, literally. Um, and then when you've done that, you can, you can expand on your resume because you, you know, before when you were knocking on doors, people just wouldn't take you seriously. So sometimes the only way to actually do that is to go out on your own and actually get the work done yourself. Outcome for the reading is the Queen of Wands. This is beautiful. This is Leo energy. This is also known as the Madonna card, as in the singer, not the spiritual, you know, icon. Queen of Wands, she's Leo. She is in the spotlight. She loves to be center stage. She wants to be acknowledged. She has got the goods. She takes care of people. She's creative. She's innovative. Um, she's got passion um, and she's got drive okay it's clarified though by the nine of swords all right this is your obstacle your nine of swords is about you with negative self-talk keeping yourself up at night worried about the future worried about certain things that haven't even happened okay and you are losing sleep over it it's got to that point where you're losing sleep over things but I think the only direction that you need to take right now is to take in center stage, you know, independence, um, you know, lead by example. Sometimes it's the only way to go. Bottom of the deck, which is holds your entire reading together. You've got the Knight of Pentacles. This is your energy, Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus. Knight of Pentacles is a guy on a horse. He's a knight. He's not the king, but he's a knight. He's still in there. He's still hanging in there, but he's just plodding along. Okay. The Knight of Swords is probably, uh, sorry, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight of them all. You know, they're not fire. They're not water. They're not, um, they're not emotional. Uh, and they're not, they don't have a sword. They got a coin and they work hard and they move slowly. So the overarching energy here is just telling me that, you know, there is, there is gain for you here, but it's just mo moving at a glacial pace. The advice from spirit or what's clarifying it is the page of wands. This is where it gets interesting. So this is where you need to become the page of wands. The page of wands is an innovator. The pages, all pages are university mode innovate think differently create um you know provide inspiration for others you know th think outside the box go back to university mode you know come up with solutions and ways of thinking and working that you know other people haven't um and that's a wand energy so that's fire energy that's all about you know sag leo aries you know pick a fire brain pick a, a fire signs brain and you understand the mentality and that's the mentality that you need to adopt okay so I feel that this is interesting as well you got a Virgo here and you got a Sag here okay and the two the two are sort of operating at very different uh, MOs 
all right but this is your overarching energy for the whole reading so i think the advice from spirit is to you know become more agile you know you've got your queen of wands and your page of wands here both both fire energy um use the strength that you have deep dive into that inner strength the wheel of fortune is waiting for you the wheel will turn in your favor spirit rewards courage spirit rewards determination spirit rewards um you know taking a risk you know following that star don't take your eye off the prize you know if this guy turned around and went sorry not interested don't take your eye off the prize the prize is there religious you know connotation for this card as well as it's also known as the star of bethlehem you follow the light you follow the star and it'll take you to and you meet the son of god all right Spirit doesn't reward complacency. Spirit doesn't reward laziness. Spirit rewards tenacity, courage, strength. Um, you know, all of these, these, these traits that require effort. Okay? You can't afford to give up. If you want to give up, then don't expect results. But at the end of the day, I feel that you've def you feel defeated in your immediate future. You feel defeated. You're like, fuck this. Um, and this is you, all right, in your immediate future. I feel that you're going to dig deep now. Now's the time because you've got to dig deep with strength. And now's the time in your immediate future where you're going to consider solo entrepreneurial pursuits. I feel very strongly. If you don't already have your own business, if you already have your own business, then this is just a time for you to, um, you know, move forward with things that you know that you've planted already. Move forward with things that you can, you'll get justice in. You know, moderation, balance. Virgo, I hope you really enjoyed this reading and you found it helpful. Uh, thank you so much for joining me again. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. If you're on Instagram and you'd like a free personal reading, I'm only doing it on Saturdays and Sundays for one hour from 10am to 11am on Instagram. If you're in Australia, it's Australian Eastern Standard Time. 10 a.m. till 11 a.m. I'm only doing this during lockdown because, you know, I like to give back. It's good juju and I get to meet some cool people and we get to, get to have a bit of a laugh and it's a bit of fun. So please join me if you want to um, join the crew, the Soul Fam. We're there on Saturdays and Sundays. If not, thank you again so much for watching my YouTube and I will see you guys next month. Have a happy Halloween. Stay spooky and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.